He had those men hide the chest. All the time they's thinking, must be a mess of diamonds or something for the general to be so secretive about it all. Of course, he knew the Yankees were coming. Behind those rotten bales of cotton. His home would be ransacked, his livestock taken, furniture, china, crystals confiscated. If I ever hear of either of you mentioning this, I'll have you drawn and quartered and fed to the alligators. Lord knows what had happened to the women, but this was what he wanted to keep out of the hands of the Yankees, most of all. sliced them up. And the chest? Well, it stayed in the cellar of that building till about 1910. Then the Baptist turned it into a church. Preacher found the chest. He opened it up and died of a heart attack. At least that's how the story goes. Well, then what? Well, funeral. Buried it. Hey, son, how you doing? Cut. Think of anybody who might know where the chest is now? Nope. Do you think it still exists? Hard to say. Why is that? My false teeth are killing me. to discover the whereabouts of and then steal the chest wasn't all that unusual. But for them to pretend to be black men from around here shows just what kind of low-life sons of bitches these show business folks can be. See, the deal was General Van Tocht got hold of the chest the year before the Louisiana Purchase. A pirate ship ran aground up the river south of what's now Baton Rouge. Seems the pirates had raided one of Napoleon's ships, and the chest was a prize being delivered to New Orleans. Damn it! Damn, these boys are dumb bastards. Whoever delivered the note to the hotel could be setting a trap. Duh. You will find the wine where the southern sword invades the chest. Sincerely, Mark Twain. Why would he deliver the note? Huh? Huh? <gasps> the fuck? Yeah, okay, Blinky. What if it was a she? What she? That blonde tomato that worked the front desk, she had eyes. To get off work? No, to get with me. You're delusional. Yeah, well, that comes with being an artist. Well, it comes with being a drunk. Look, I am so sick of your snide comments, you money grubbing bitch! <laughs> <drunk. laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Is that all you know how to say? It's because I'm tired of looking at you. Look at me. Look at me. Right there. Right there, you dumb shit.
where the southern sword invades the chest. Okay, boys, let's see what you got. I just gotta have one taste before we put it in the well, open a bottle and satisfy your sick addiction. I didn't do this just for the money. I'm an artist. You're a hack! And you should have stayed in radio. <coughs> Broke it, you asshole. That's 15 grand. Difference between a decent post and the same old shit. Cider. Those two guys actually believe they're gonna get hold of some 200 year old Pete on Noir. <laughs> I'll make that stupid ass movie. Let's take him down to the boat. I'll let the river take him down. You wanna get this on film? Fuck no. And the old thing goes. Sun don't shine on the same dog's tail all the time.